All right, if you want to achieve something cool like this in Blender, I'm going to be taking you through part two of this process. If you haven't seen part one already, check that out first and then come back to this. So now that we have our HDRI sorted, that was part one, I'm going to go into the house and I'm going to create some cylinders that are going to be our interior lights. And these are going to be recessed down lights. So if I change the radius of the cylinder to 0 0.09 and then I um, drag that into the scene, let's just see how big that is. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit too big, but we'll play around with it. Um, maybe something like that. I might have gotten the scale wrong. What I'm going to do is position it so that it's kind of in the center of each of these. So I'm just going to start by making the depth a little bit smaller because um, this is actually just going to be the Boolean to start with. So we're actually going to um, recess these lights in. But in order to do that, we need to like Boolean and subtract this into the into the plywood. So I'm just going to do the section to start with and I'm going to select all the plywood and I'm just going to go backslash and then we can isolate everything. And let's just go into top view so we can kind of see what we have to work with. And just to start out with, I, I just want to get a good um, kind of um, set out of this. So one of these sheets, uh, actually let's just, let's just start with doing this. So I'm going to go into adding a modifier and I'm just going to do a array. Okay, cool. So by doing this, we're going to get the overall um, kind of uh, array because it includes the gaps but I mean this doesn't really this is probably isn't really relevant to if you're doing a project and following along as well so I'm just going to extend that out just so it's on the halfway mark and then if I move this if I move this whole thing in then we have a pretty good array and um, if I just remove that one, then we're looking pretty good. And what I might actually do is, per sheet of plywood, I might actually do two arrays. So I'm going to do another array. And I'm just going to kind of guesstimate just for the sake of, sake of this tutorial. But that's looking pretty good. And let's do, let's move this up here. And then I'm going to do another array. And oh, I accidentally did something. Um, What I might do is just increase this now because I want it to cover over t the space of two. And I kind of want it to be equal now. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Alright, so we can see we've got these tubes here. And these are going to punch into this, the each of these, okay? So if I go out of this view now, I'm going to click on one of these and I'm going to go boolean and we're going to boolean if we click on the little eyedropper here we're going to boolean the cylinder and you can see it cuts through so if I click on the cylinder now and I go up to object properties I think it's called yep and then we're going to go display as and we're going to call that bounds okay so now we're going to click on this one here. We're going to go down to modifiers. And then I'm going to go 
Boolean. Same process. And then we're just going to click on Cylinder 03, or whatever your one's called. And oh, let's do this one now. So this process is pretty, pretty tedious, but wherever you want to do a light, you basically, this is my process at least, there might be a better way. Um, I could always just put like a cylinder kind of just resting on the surface and like have it like one millimeter thick. Um, but recess downlights are really cool. And basically I don't want to see them. So and and that takes that takes work. You know, you can't just quickly chuck that on. So yeah, uh pretty much let's just extend this one more. Actually maybe not. Yeah, I think I think the lights over here will be good. Actually I'm just looking at it in terms of this scene. Um it makes sense to have recess lights here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that one and that one. And we're just going to go Boolean. I'm going to do this one as well. And then I'm just going to copy this Boolean across. And then we're going to do the same thing. Oh, that's Array. So you can kind of see um, if I go into one of the interior views. And I'm just going to do this kitchen portion um, for the sake of the video. But this process is the same uh, for any for any kind of architectural wall or feature. Um, and then basically what we're going to do next is we're going to hide this boolean. So we're going to right click, move to collection. Oh, where did that go? Move to collection and we're going to call it boolean. Okay. So down here, we want to turn off, uh, we want to turn off render. So that little display and renders it's really important to turn off and now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate th these booleans we're going to move them to our main collection just move it to scene and then we're going to change the view mode display as textured and then oh what's happening here we're going to move these up now Okay, it looks like there's, oh, yep, yep, uh, if I just boolean the substrate behind, let's just quickly do that, oh, wrong one, cool, you can kind of see that we have our actual light in here now, <coughs> and we can actually move this as far in as we want depending on if we really don't want to see our spotlight or not. So what we're going to do next to create this material, this um, this light material, is I'm going to go and change from world settings. This is where we set up our HDRI last week. And I'm going to go well, in part one. And I'm going to go to object. And we're going to go new. We're just going to call this light uh, Downlight Kitchen. We're going to delete principled BD is BSDF. And we're going to drag out the surface node. We're going to type in emission. And out of color, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to type in black body. And this is just going to mean that we get the correct color temperature that we want for the inside. So let's change this to 27K. Perfect. And emission strength, let's just try 100 for now. What we're going to do is go back out of our, uh, out into the, into the 
exterior render view and we're just going to see what kind of impact that light has. Yep, so let's just do this now. Hmm. Okay, for some reason it's not showing the actual light. Um, let's just have a quick look. Okay, you can actually see it is it is working. You can see the lights on there, but it is super light, uh, super, super weak. So we're just going to go down and we're going to click on the right cylinder. And then we're going to do strength, like maybe, maybe a thousand. And I haven't found a, a good way to, you know, actually do some sort of technical um, strength number based off real settings. I think there's a converter you can use online, but it actually does depend on what HDRI you're using. So it doesn't really help that much. But And I like to do more of an artistic approach when it comes to night scenes. So I just like to kind of balance the inside and outside lighting. So... That's kind of, you can kind of see that's starting to really light it up. <coughs> um, but something that I want to just quickly try now is by moving the cylinder down a little bit so that it kind of opens up and it starts lighting the room. You can see by moving it down, it's less of like a tube and it's more of a, yeah, it's less of a downlight and it's more of a, yeah, more of the surface area comes out of that hole and then it starts lighting everything up. So I think that's starting to be pretty good. Let's just try a strength of 2000. And I'm just going to save because this can, um, this can be a little bit touch and go. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's pretty much how I do my downlights and I'm going to go through and do the exact same thing for the um, angled surface um, but I'm not going to bore you guys with just showing you it because it's literally the exact same thing but what I am going to do really quickly is apply the light to this pendant here because that's kind of a slightly different process so let's quickly do that now so what I'm doing right now is I've just gone into my pendant lamp, um, kind of edit mode, and I've just selected the actual light bulb. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go new material, and I'm going to go light pendant. Okay, so we're going to do the same process. We're just going to create a emission shader. Okay, and then we're going to go color. We're going to do black body. And let's do a 2700K color temperature strength. Let's do 100 because this is far more concentrated. And you'll probably get quite a few assets that are just like this. And you just have to kind of manually go in and apply a material to it. So let's quickly check out cycles mode. Alright, I think that pen and lamp, I mean it was taking a little while to load, but I think that's come out pretty good. So that's my process for doing interior lighting for a night shot. And this can be done for like an actual interior view or an exterior view, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next episode because I'll be walking you through how we do exterior lighting um, and you know, up lights in the gardens and it just helps tie everything together. So stay tuned for then and make sure to check out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture if you want to see the kind of work I do as a professional and also check out my Discord. There's a link in the description. You can get feedback from me, from the community and it's a really great place to grow as a 3D artist. So I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.